Let's look at how we can split lines using a delimiter in Python. So first of all, I have a file and this file, if we look at it, it has a, a comment here that indicates what each of these columns are. This is a comma delimited file. So it be, could be a, a CSV, so comma separated values. We can see numbers, this is a person ID number, a name, you can see a username, and you can see an email address. And we want to extract data from this. So let's say we want to get just the email addresses from each person. Now we know what these different fields are. There's PID, name, username, and email. Um, and so we're going to get a, a new document. So get email.py and so this get email.py is going to extract the email addresses from that list so i'll go ahead and edit that with notepad plus plus and the first thing i want to do is figure out which file i'm opening and i'm going to just going to get that from the command prompt so import sys so then um, we'll do if um the length of sys argv is less than two we're just going to print missing file name and we'll do a sys exit zero then we're going to do our file name is going to be coming from sys argv index one and then we want to read in the file and we're going to be just creating and uh, saving our email addresses right here so do email emails and we'll create an empty list right here and at the end we're going to then iterate over the email addresses and print them all out so how do we read it in well first we open the file so our file handle equals open and it's the file name and it's read only and then we want to close the file just so we don't forget and then we're going to do a while true loop and then our line that we read in is going to be from our file handle read line then we want to clean up the new line at the end because we're going to be parsing this and splitting it so we'll do line equals line replace replace slash in with this um we also want to break out if we don't have a line. So if not a line, break. And we also want to skip over the comment because we don't actually want to process the comment. So if um, line zero, so that means the very first character in the line equals the hash mark, then we are going to just continue on with our loop so continue also if it's a, a space character we really want to continue on too so if line zero is space then we want to continue as well so that means if it's just a blank line and all you have is a new line character or uh, spaces there in the front. We just want to like skip over and say, you know what? We don't care. We're skipping over. All right. Now we're um, going to so let's clean the line. Um, and then we want to split it. Split the line. So I do all the parts of the line. Parts equals line split. And then I have to decide what character I'm splitting on. I'm going to be splitting on the comma because that's what was in there. And so what this is going to do is take this line, which is a string, and convert it into a list, which is parts. Now, this list is going to be 
multiple different parts. If I look back at this uh, person data, you can see the first one is the PID. Then there is a name. Then there is a username. And then there is an email address. So this is ID zero, one, two, and three. We're going to want to get three. But what they these things are is PID, name, username, and email. So I'll just split them up right here so you can see it. So PID equals parts zero. Uh, name equals parts one. The username equals parts two. And the email equals parts three. Notice that my email right here is not the same as emails up above. All right. So once I have this split up, I want to save the email address. So um, I want to put this email address into email. So emails append the email. All right. So at this point, I should have all of the emails saved into this emails list, and I can go ahead and iterate through the list. Display email addresses. So for email in emails, and I'm going to print the email address right there. All right, so that has been parsed. It imports our sys. It checks to make sure that I have the, the right number of arguments. It gets the file name out. It then creates this emails list. And then it goes through and it reads in all of the lines from the file. And it puts them at the end. Now, there are other things you can do for error checking. Um, parts might not be for um lengths or four uh, items so you know if something's missing you could have issues there so you might want to do a little bit of error checking there and then skip lines or break out if it, you know things aren't processed properly but um and then maybe you want to verify the email address does actually look like an email address it has the at sign it has different parts on both sides um you can do verifications there if you have functions that handle that so let's go ahead and save this and we will test it to see if it works so um, if I look at my directory and I can see I've got this uh, get emails. Um, if I run it by here, it, it says file missing. If I do person data, it displays all of the email addresses, just the email addresses from that person data file. So that is basically how you can parse a line, split out the pieces and get what you want. So there you go.